don't know what's going on with this. Kyle can't work. I Simple can't, technology. I can't work small apparatuses like this. This is a small little filming apparatus and it gets tangled up. It seems like if you take it off as carefully as you possibly can, place it down and pick it up, it's twisted about 18 ways to Sunday. So today we're out here, small little local lake, very small. What you laughing at, Hunter? I have my arms extended. Hunter, <laughs> Hunter, standing, Hunter standing like this, like she's trying to catch some, a bouquet at a wedding or something. She was like, she's about to grab <laughs> something. She's, she's about to rebound on LeBron or something. So anyways, small little local lake today got something cool got a little got a little bait that's almost ready to be released and i've been catching a lot on it but now we've got the full production models of it we're going to fish with it some gonna flip an ace jig around a lot of stuff we can do today the water's a little bit more stained than, than normal i'd imagine it just got down to the mid 60s below 70 kind of water temp so the fish should be biting we should have a good time on this small little local lake so let's go pitch under a dock or two That was awesome. Love me old swim jig bite. This is a new untamed tackle swim jig. This will be coming out very, very soon. But that's that mini D chunk. Small little fish, but he ate it exactly how I want them to eat it. Grass is dying. Most of the big ones probably are not going to be in the grass this time of year. But still be a fish or two here and there, that's for sure. That mini D chunk is perfect for clear water. It just, it's a little more streamlined, not real wide and bulky, but still has a lot of action. Gets them, guys has a lot of draw power because it does have a lot of action, but it's not a real bulky bait. God, there's another one. That one's a little bit bigger. Not way bigger, but a little bit bigger. That other one got it the right way too. I just missed him. He came in the boat. <laughs> I don't know if he's ever hooked. But he came in the boat. So this is actually a new swim jig from Untamed that I put a lot of my input in designing this. This is exactly what I wanted. This is like the swim jig. This is everything. You know the skipping you can skip it you can throw it in heavy cover it's got a big hook on it it's got a really good gap this is the swim jig that i've been wanting for a long long time and we finally got it dialed in it took a while but haven't been able to show it to y'all but i have been catching quite a few on it today y'all might get the first decent look at it if you're lucky and i catch one and he's got it it's hanging out of his mouth you might get a good look at it so pause the video if you got to to try to find it that's what we're doing today got it on 60 pound sunline siglon however you pronounce that x8 it's eight strand a little bit smoother braid seems to cast a little bit better it's the one that i've got it on right now so i'm gonna swim a little swim jig and skip a little ace jig so if y'all want to know the jig that i am skipping under the docks like that one just skip this is this is my untamed ace jig i designed it pretty much for skipping I hate to plug it like that, but that's what I'm doing today. You know, I got a lot of questions on exactly the baits I'm using, the trailer, the line, everything. So I'm gonna break it down real quick for y'all. Won't take but a minute. We've got a seven foot three heavy rod right here. We've got an eight to one gear ratio reel. We have a tournament tackle exclusive wicked gill ace. That's untamed tackle ace, but this one's only available at tournamenttackle.com. This is a three eighths ounce wicked gill, and that is a missile mini D chunk. Fits on that thing perfectly. Look at that. If that ain't a little snack for a bass, large mouth, spotted bass, small mouth, whatever we end up catching today, that's a little snack. So that's the one I'm skipping on the docks today, guys. 20 pound. This is a uh, this is Sunline Shooter, 20 pound. And we're just going to try to hit them as hard as we possibly can today because that's what's fun. I do hear a lot of times people say that, you know, the sun wasn't out, so the fish wasn't really biting on docks and stuff like that. And that can be true in scenarios where the fish really seem to follow the bait a lot. 
and there's lakes obviously herring lakes or shad spawn and stuff like that where the fish are or in the bluegill bed or whatever there are times of the year or certain lakes where the fish really seem to oh man give me a little bird nest there's there are definitely certain lakes and certain times where the fish definitely only get under the docks whenever it's sunny i shouldn't say only but primarily pull up under there whenever it is sunny but a lot of times in the south we have a big population of fish and even in the north or everywhere i've been there's a big population of fish that live shallow and the fish that live shallow they just some of them seem to want to live on docks and it doesn't matter if it's cloudy rainy whatever you can still get a bite off of dock so today it is cloudy i do expect to still catch a few off a of dock here and there catch some in the middle because they will be roaming a little bit more than normal but for the most part you know they still will definitely bite on docks i've caught some really big ones caught some really big bags on docks even in the rain and stuff like that so don't write it out as soon as you see the clouds but you know you can still try it and if you're on a lake where they really really key on bait all the time that might be a time to kind of write off the docks whenever it's cloudy boat yoga welcome to boat yoga with with hunter brooke welcher you should start a boat yoga youtube leave me a comment who out there would watch boat yoga boat yoga I know a lot more of y'all would watch it if Hunter was doing it than me, but I might start me a boat yoga channel. Be out here in my leggings and my tights and my crop top and do some yoga for you guys. Oh, I missed it. That's probably a tiny one though. I was trying to hurt him too. Got this new jig. I know that was a small one because it was like the tiniest bull of all time, but I wanted to hit him. I wanted him. I wanted him worse than he wanted me. He got that thing pretty good, didn't he? 12 pounder. He's a 12 incher. Look at that. Look at that hook in that ace. Out the side. He got it good. A little wicked gill. A little wicked you. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you have to go to tournamenttackle.com to get these jigs. If I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. If not, tournamenttackle.com. This is wicked you. I hit him. Hit him the wrong way though. Can't let y'all get too good of a look at it. That's the new swimming jig. That's it. That's her with a mini D chunk. Coming soon. Coming soon. Oh, I lost that one. Had a bad hook set on him. Gosh. I never got him good. He was swimming too fast right at me. Decent one too. Small one, but still. He wasn't he wasn't like a two pounder. That was a little bitty one there. Might have been the same fish, I doubt it though. So I just missed that one. But caught another one on the dock in the shade. Not shade. In the clouds that one about ruined my trailer i set the hook on him he got stuck on a post and i barely got him out from under there but just a little one though so i get a lot of comments on skipping skipping docks stuff like that i do get a bunch of comments if y'all want me to make another video about skipping oh that was a tiny one i seen him see did he had to skip to get that bite just pitched it on in there but if y'all want me to make another video on kind of the way that I skip, leave me a comment, leave a like, let me know, and then we'll make a skipping video, another one. I did make one about a year ago. Man, took my pants. See if I eat it with no chunk. So this is a mini D chunk. I trim it up just a little bit because it makes the skirt flare out 
on a smaller jig if i'm putting it on a big jig like a if i'm gonna be flipping or i want a bigger profile i'll kind of leave it but for a smaller jig kind of like my little ace which is a little bit smaller profile jig especially on this 3 8 i will actually trim it just a little bit it does skip really really well though whenever you leave the entire body it seems to skip a little bit better but i trim him a little bit make him a little bit tiny profile see if he'll get that trailer again if he wants to bite it he can show have it I seen him the first time, he looked like he's about six inches long. So I do get a lot of comments on my YouTube channel, like I was saying before that fish took my trailer off, about skipping. People ask me how to skip, they'd like to watch me skip, whatever. I think it's, you know, but not that difficult to learn. You just kinda gotta get the technique right. If y'all want me to make another video on skip it under boat docks leave a like leave a comment let me know that you want to see one and i'll make another one kind of walking back through it the rod reel set up i kind of just turn it loose like i don't really think about it a lot you know so whenever i try to talk about it maybe i don't articulate it correctly because for me it's kind of just a feel thing and i just kind of turn it loose and sling it under there so um but if you want to see it i'll try to make another video just uh, let me know down below There's a good one. Boy, he choked that freaking jig. <laughs> what a swing job. Look at that. Look at that hook on his mouth. It's a pretty one there. Another nice little large mouth. Look where that hook got him. Unfortunately, had the camera off. Don't really know why. Cause that was a pretty cool bite. Pitched up there to that little wall and he was just like gone with it. Absolutely gone with it. 